Hey guys, Mitch here. Today I'll be showing you how to factory unlock any iPhone that is off contract. Now off contract meaning that you have waited the 20 or 24 months with your carrier and that you are eligible for a new phone upgrade. This way you can go ahead and factory unlock your old device. So we will be doing this with AT&T and for this you want to head over to their website by going to att.com forward slash device unlock. Now on this page you will be presented with a unlocking portal where you can go ahead and read the different requirements and the additional information then you want to go ahead and check that I have agreed to the terms and continue on the request page you want to go ahead and fill out all the information and hit the blue submit button after you have submitted your information they will email you instructions on how to factory unlock your iPhone so mine took about 24 48 hours and then I did receive an email from AT&T and there are steps. So first off, you want to open up iTunes on your computer and make sure that you are connected to the internet. And you want to have your AT&T SIM card. Now the SIM card does not actually have to be working. You just want to make sure that it is an AT&T SIM card. So for this, we're going to head over to our Altoids box where we keep all of our tools for factory unlocking our device. So inside, you do have a paper clip to get into your SIM card and then we also have our AT&T SIM card make sure you do have that and for good measure we'll be testing it out on the GSM carrier T-Mobile so once you have those necessities you want to go ahead and remove your SIM card out of your iPhone and then place in the original SIM card your AT&T SIM card once you have it in the slot you can go ahead and put it into the side of your iPhone and we will be get into the unlocking so just go ahead and press that in there and then you want to go ahead and connect your device via USB to your computer so make sure it is connected into your iPhone and then on the other end make sure you have plugged that into a USB port onto your computer and we can continue with the next step now within iTunes it will ask you to back up your device if anything does go wrong so you can go ahead and back up your device now AT&T states that you must do a restore of your iPhone in order for the effects to happen. Now if you do want to save your jailbreak instead of upgrading to the newest firmware which might not be able to be jailbroken especially if you're on an untethered jailbreak you want to go ahead and we'll be resetting our network settings on our device. Now there's two ways you can do this you can reset everything or just the network settings individually. So you want to head over to your device, go into settings, general, and scroll all the way down to the bottom where you see the reset button. And then you can individually reset your network settings as that individual piece. Or you can go ahead and reset everything on your phone back to a stock-ish um, iPhone. So I have sped this up about eight times, which is about 400% faster as the process will take some time as it will be... Um, resetting all of your network settings so that you will be able to use it on other GSM carriers such as T-Mobile. So once that has been completed your iPhone should be unlocked here and you'll be presented with the unlock picture and guide within iTunes so that will come up and you'll say congratulations your iPhone has now been unlocked and you can go ahead and continue sometimes you might get a carrier update that is okay if you are jailbroken you can do this sometimes the carriers will require this to get new and improvements for your new um, GSM carrier once that has been completed you're pretty much good to go there are some um, information if you want to go ahead and read about those there I will provide the links in the description below and if you just want to do a restore you're not really into jailbreaking you can do that but if you do want to preserve your jailbreak then you might want to take up the resetting of the network settings so now to test out that this is a factory unlock we want to go ahead and grab our paper clip and take out our AT&T SIM card and plug in another GSM SIM card such as T-Mobile to actually check that it is factory unlock so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it and then grab my T-Mobile SIM card make sure you have placed it in the correct orientation and then you can go ahead and slide it into the slot. Now the great part about factory unlocks, when you update your iOS firmware, you will no longer have to worry about it not being unlocked. It will stay unlocked as you update throughout the firmwares since you are updating it with your carrier. So it will be searching for a network. It doesn't have to be a actual working SIM card just to make sure that it does say no service. And then underneath the Bluetooth, you should receive a carrier um, button there which says that you are now factory unlock on your iPhone so guys if you have any questions on how to factory unlock your AT&T iPhone that is off contract 
Uh, just leave any comments down in the description below and I will provide you some links on some other useful information. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.